Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm looking at replacing the hard drive in this Asus S200e laptop. Uh, we're doing this because the drive in the system has failed and therefore we need to fit a replacement to it. So first of all we have our crosshead screwdriver and we are going to start by removing the nine, I believe, screws in the base of the chassis. What I tend to do as I'm placing the screws down is place them on the desk upright in the same arrangement as I'm removing them from the laptop in case there are any sort of different length screws. And let's just make sure I put the same ones back in the same place. Particularly at the rear, some of these look like they may be longer than the screws at the front. We'll find out in a moment. I haven't been through and done this in advance as it should be a fairly simple procedure. In fact it appears like these front screws as you can see are a little shorter. Now we need simply to take our plastic pry tool and we will want to work around the edge of the laptop if we can find somewhere to get started. There we go. So lifting the back corner there and then just working round with the pry tool to release the clips. Seems good to start along this back edge. In fact, once that edge is released, we can lift that out as so. Now we can see the hard drive is held here with these three screws. The fourth one is actually held in by the chassis screw at the back, so that's already removed. So if we go through and remove these, And then with this tab here, we should be able to pull the drive away from the socket. And there we have our hard drive removed. To remove the screws from the drive rails, I'm actually having to resort to a slightly larger screwdriver just to get a bit more purchase on them. Uh, this is a Phillips head size zero bit in the screwdriver. That removes the first rail.
Put that the second. And then this pad we will have to peel off the old drive. Now with our new drive we fit this tab to the bottom of the drive as before and then with the side rails we want to reattach them this side up and with that done through the magic of editing we are now ready to give the inside of the laptop a clean up refit the drive and reassembly is the reverse of removal and with that we should be ready to get windows reinstalled and this machine back and working thanks for watching i hope you found this video useful and if you'd like to see more from us like and subscribe to our channel thank you very much